Hi everyone, my name is Noah. I'm the developer of Velocity Labs, a time lapse app for Android. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a Starry Night time lapse using Velocity Labs on your Android phone. Just a couple things to note before we begin. I'm using the free version of the app here, so you don't have to purchase Pro in order to follow along. So go ahead and get the app from Google Play. Also, your device will need to support manually setting the camera shutter speed and ISO in order to capture the stars correctly. I'm using a Samsung Galaxy A03s phone for this tutorial. Most Samsung phones do support it, but other phones may not. The first thing you need to do is find a good dark location where there is a clear view of the sky away from light pollution. Set your phone on a tripod for stability, pointing up towards the sky, and then open up the Velocilapse app. Tap the new time lapse button to create a new project. In order for the camera to see the stars, we need to adjust some manual settings by clicking the camera icon in the top right corner. First, we'll set the shutter speed to 1 second. This is the maximum amount currently available in Velocity Labs, which is good enough to capture the brightest stars in the sky. Next, we'll set the camera ISO value. The ISO controls the amount of light that the camera lets in. The higher you go, the more sensitive the camera will be to light. However, it also introduces more noise to the captured image. Since stars are tiny pinpoints of light and we have a pretty short shutter speed, we need to crank this up really high to 6400. You can see that the camera preview is now starting to show the stars. At this point, you should be able to adjust your camera to the position you want. Uh, I'm going to adjust this a little bit more so that it captures more stars. Now we can set the focus to manual, which will give us a sharper image. Then we can set the interval, which is how often a frame will be captured. What you set this to can vary depending on how fast you want the stars to move across the sky in your time lapse, and how long you want the capture to take. I'm only going to capture for an hour, so I'll set the interval to 4 seconds. One thing to note is that though we are setting the interval to 4 seconds, the interval will actually be 5 seconds to account for 1 second shutter speed that we set. An optional setting you might want to change is the image capture resolution. I'll set it to 4K for the purposes of this tutorial. With that, we can tap the capture button to start capturing our time lapse. You can see how many frames have been captured in the calculated output video duration at the bottom. And once you're happy with the length of your capture, you can tap the button again to stop it. Now, you can see here I've captured 155 frames. To export this video, tap the button in the top right corner. It will give us the export options. I'll set the bitrate to medium. For frame rate, you could set it to any of these values depending on how fast and smooth you want the time lapse to be. I'll set it to 24 frames per second. Once you're happy, tap the export to video button and let it render the video. Once that's done, you can watch the video. And there we have it. A starry night time lapse. Now, you could call this done here, however, because we used a high ISO value during capture, there's quite a bit of noise and the stars don't stand out as much as they could. So, as an optional step, we could take this into a video editor and do some color adjustment. I chose to do this in Blender, a free and open source software. What I did for color adjustment is I increased the gain in gamma all the way up, and I lowered the lift a little bit on the color balance modifier. I also gave it a little bit of a bluish tint, just because it looked kind of neat. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. 